Welcome back, folks. I'm your host, Tilly Sparks, a.k.a. Red Beard, uh, a.k.a. Son of Thor 3 at the Instagrams. So, if you like uh, what I'm putting out here, follow my channel, give me some uh, opinions and anything I can do to make it better. Uh, I like that angle, my head's getting cut off, so kind of need like a little prop put my, my whiskey up on. A little better. All right. So today, I've got uh, what many consider to be uh, their unicorn or a unicorn, uh, Blanton's single barrel, the original single barrel Blanton. So, uh, if anybody's ever watched the short film or documentary called Neat, the story of bourbon, they tell you all about Blanton's. It's a really cool little piece. Uh, I recommend anybody watch it, anybody who likes bourbon and whiskey, it's just a fun little uh, documentary to watch, um, get you a little, get you right here at the very end, so I'm not going to go over Blanton's, anybody who knows their whiskey knows Blanton's, so this is a, a store pick, Blackwell's, uh, single barrel select, this one was dumped on 411.17 from barrel number 164, Warehouse H on Rick number 38. Uh, individually se selected, filtered, and bottled by hand at 93 proof. Um, so what are you what you're seeing me do here? Um, I have recently experienced. Got a little on me on that one. Uh, see that that just shows you some came out, so that cork wasn't very wet. Uh, more likely dried up a little bit and it's getting smaller so make sure if your bottles are sitting for a little while get the cork moist uh, so it don't break off and it doesn't uh, oxidize oxygen will get down into the whiskey and change the taste uh, another reason I did that I've noticed here recently uh, whenever I'm pouring samples for myself or my friends or what and whatnot and I just take the bottle off the shelf, set it down, and I pour the first one, uh, I've noticed that more often than not that the first pour has more oil in it than the second pour. So I don't know if the, the, the whiskey is actually starting to separate slightly and the, the water settling on the bottom or the alcohol or something's happening so the oil is starting to separate. So I give it a little shake, just kind of move it around a little bit and uh, mix it back up again oh, oh, oh. we're gonna go ahead and do a little taste a little notch taken out of that one so blends single barrel bourbon oh it's got a creamy buttery nose like butterscotch and toffee. Smells so good. Um, in my last video, I talked about uh, befriending your local liquor store clerks and the people who work there. Um, they they'll put you on to stuff like this. They're the go they're going to be the ones like hey. Guess what I got? You can come by and pick it up. So, uh, pretty much all the blends, most of the blends I've got is because I was notified by a clerk, a store, uh, uh, an associate at the liquor store. And, I mean, you spend money, they're going to sell it to the people who are spending money. So, don't be one of those dickbags who go in and buy up all the freaking blends. Get one bottle and then share the rest. Assholes. Mmm, it smells so good. I'm getting like a burst of apple cinnamon right off the front. Finishes very quickly. Yeah, I can I can get some cinnamon on the nose now.
I mean, it's just a classic bourbon. It really is. So tasty. Yeah, so befriend your associates at the liquor store, at your package store, or whatever, and they, they'll put you on to some blends once they come in. Spend some money and share your whiskey with folks, and uh, it's all about giving back. But, but that said, y'all have a good weekend. Uh, this should come out on Saturday, maybe. I think I might have to have another one. Uh, yeah. I might just talk to you folks here for a little bit. This is my first drink of the night. I'm going to go out. We've got a local uh, restaurant here in the great state of Texas. Certain restaurants, if they don't serve liquor, it's uh, BYOL. They'll serve beer, but they allow you to bring in your own bottle of booze, and it's just wonderful. I mean, you spend $27, $30 on a really nice cut of steak, get toasted, take in a bottle of Blanton or Elmer T or some Weller 12 or whatever, and you, you get out less money. I mean, hell, I went to a freaking brew house last night. Got a few rounds of some whiskey. They had some E.H. Taylor. They had some uh, Booker's. And uh, I got a freaking uh, a starter, an appetizer, some Brussels sprouts. And uh, what else I get? Just a little piece of uh, grilled chicken. Some barbacoa chicken. Those of you who visit these places often might be able to pick out where I went. Uh, but I spent over 50 bucks. So, thank God for the great state of Texas and BYOL restaurants. Mm. Can't say enough about them. It. It's not the best bourbon ever. Uh, personally, I, I like the uh, the E. H. Taylor Barrel Proof. That is. As far as Buffalo Trace, my favorite Buffalo Trace right now is probably the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. I only got one of those, and I don't want to dip into it too often. So, Blanton's, you can't go wrong with it. It's just really good. I mean, that's all I can say about it. So, you folks have a nice night. Have a great weekend. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth.